I'm Amy Keane. Hello, my name is Jim Coretti. A lot of people know me as Kenny Clark. John Bussey. Trip Fry. I'm Farnos Fasihi. My name is Jenny Spindlefee, and Bill is my oldest brother. And what I remember about Bill is he played a lot of basketball, and he was going on these different adventures. I think he went scuba diving in the Virgin Islands. I think he rode his bike across Michigan to the and went to Isle Royal and camped. So he would do these unique adventures and was always kind of out and about. He was also a studious person. I mean, he, he was good in the academics. And he was one of those kind of people that kind of made it look easy. He was a leader. I'm not gonna say a risk taker, but he was a daring person. He did things that he knew he could do but that I think in others' eyes may have been, wow, how did you do that? So Bill and I, being great high school friends, we made a decision we were gonna room together at the University of Michigan. So we were uh, freshman roommates, and it was interesting, during the second semester, Bill just happened to be walking around campus and found the Michigan Daily and went in, and introduced himself and introduced him to the people and he made a connection. He went on to, as a senior, be the editor of the Michigan Daily, which is quite an accomplishment and, and the rest is history in terms of his journalistic career. I do remember a conversation we had at one point where Bill said that he wanted his work and life to take him all over the world. And living and working all over the world was something I couldn't even imagine. So I was fascinated by this, and Bill didn't just dream it, Bill did it. Bill, in addition to kind of being loving and caring towards his family, I think in his professional life has been extremely caring towards his colleagues and those who work for him. And that loyalty has kind of translated back to him in his professional life. I have been for 40 years an editor and a reporter at the Wall Street Journal, and I know Bill from his incredible work for two decades at the Journal. For a while, he was a deputy when I was foreign editor of the paper. He was deputy editor of the paper, so we worked very closely together, but in a whole bunch of other incarnations at the paper. What you, what you see in Bill is this kind of entrepreneurial journalist, not just having done what he did at the Journal. What he did at the Journal was really quite extraordinary. But since the Journal, kind of going out on his own on climate change and now with Cypher and before with Semaphore, writing about arguably the biggest issue of our day, uh, now generationally, is climate change. But before that, you know, what he did at the Journal also showed this incredible entrepreneurial, go get em, adventurous spirit. Going off to Japan, becoming deputy bureau chief there, becoming deputy foreign editor of the Journal, then going to become Middle East bureau chief during a war um, and contending with the phenomenal demands of writing the story accurately, but also keeping your staff safe. Weighing all of those issues takes a degree of sensibility and maturity that is really just a, a terrific skill and a terrific thing to behold, you know, kind of when you're witnessing it. And that was Bill. That was Bill making those decisions day after day. In 2003, as the U.S. was getting ready to go to war with Iraq, Bill hired me as the Iraq correspondent to lead the journal's war coverage and Baghdad Bureau for the Wall Street Journal. And for the almost four years that I was in Baghdad under very challenging and life-threatening situations, Bill was really my, not just my editor, but also my lifeline to the outside world. He was extremely caring as a person. He was very kind and thoughtful. And every single morning around 6 a.m. New York time, I would get a phone call from Bill, you know, to check on me, to see how I'm doing, to, you know, make sure that I was safe. And he always told me that, you know, no story is worth your life. So wherever you go on reporting, missions or when you're thinking of a story always put your safety first and I really appreciated that. Not only was he a really grounded and, and great editor in, in terms of uh, getting us to produce our best work but he was really a leader in diversity hiring. I feel that Bill was way ahead of the curve and he really believed in giving young reporters an opportunity and mentoring them 
to advance in their careers. And he believed truly and he practiced diversity in his team. I, I don't know any other editor who was as thoughtful and such a leader in the diversity hiring that he did at the Journal. Congratulations, Bill. This is such a richly deserved recognition and award, and I'm hugely honored to be able to participate in recognizing you for the wonderful, caring editor, journalist, and friend that you've been. Congratulations, Bill. Congratulations, Bill. We're really proud of you. Bill, congratulations on this great award. It is much deserved, and it's great to see that you just met your last deadline. That's always the most important thing to do, but congrats on this really cool acknowledgement of your achievements in journalism. Congratulations, Bill. You deserve it. Congratulations, Bill. We're all really thrilled for you, buddy. Congratulations, Bill. Being the distinguished alumni of East Grand Rapids Public Schools is an incredible honor. I love you, and so does the whole family, and we're proud of you, so congratulations.